This is a tutorial to assist the teachers on how to navigate through virtual classroom. So you'd land on your preview page, which looks like this. It would list all the subjects that are linked to you. Yours will obviously be blank unless your school administrator sets it up for you. You can click on your menu button and click on the Add New to add a new subject. These are the subjects that have been preloaded by your school's administrator. If this is empty, please contact the administrator to create a subject for you. You would choose a subject. You can go into anything, maybe history. You've got two options of layout, vertical, horizontal. The vertical is the default. Your subject outline would be just something short and brief to help the student and the parent understand what will be covered in history throughout that year. You've got the ability to upload a textbook for history, like a handbook or a textbook. Once you've done that, click continue. So there is history. You've, history is linked to grade R and the class is sharks. You can now add a topic. You could do World War II. It could be the topic. And then you've got a lesson within that topic. So you'd select, you can have multiple topics here. The lesson title, you might just want to call it lesson one. You could just, whatever you want to discuss. Um, now you've got one, two, three, four different sections down here that are all optional. You may just want to just write some content in here and leave these ones blank. That's absolutely fine. They will be hidden from the parent. You've got the ability to upload a JPEG link to a website or embed a video. It's just very important to name your your files so that they can appear to the parent. When embedding a video, we've got a little video here on how to embed the video. You can name your video and then paste the code here. This is a very important step. You now need to create a lesson date and time because this is going to link to the parent's calendar. You can then allocate a lesson length. And finally, if you wish, you can log into Zoom, set up a meeting, create a username and password, and tell the parents when they would, when you'd like them to pop online to view your, your Zoom meeting. Okay, so there it is. Lessons added. You'll notice that there is a status icon that says offline. That means that we've been working on it and you don't want that to be shared with the parents, so you keep it offline. Once you're happy with your work, you can publish it and that will then appear on the parent's calendar. So there's your calendar. There's the history lesson you just added. The parents would, on their end, would click on a link, for example, and they'd be able to see the subject. The duration, the Zoom meeting, the overview, the lesson content, any images you upload, any videos you upload, it all populates into a nice condensed lesson for you. But going back to the summary, you have the ability within each subject to delete a subject, to preview a subject, to take it offline, or to edit it. So if I wanted to go in and edit a lesson, I think the quickest and easiest way would be to go into the preview icon. If I wanted to edit this history lesson, for example, I click on edit. Now I can go back and edit the subject. So I can edit any of this content here. I can edit the topic. So there's the topic, World War II. I can click on the pencil icon to edit it. Or I can edit, edit the lesson itself. Click on the pencil icon there. And that's where we can edit the lesson. Once you've edited it, simply click Save. Okay, so what I want to show you now is we go into the preview section. Let's go into the preview for, um, for maths. There's one lesson there. Okay, so you may have multiple lessons down here stored neatly in this table for you. This is the, the link to the lesson, the length, the date, the time, and now what's important here is you can see the student replies. So parents and students have the ability to upload their work once they've completed it, and then you can grade that work or comment on it. So click the view link. Now all of the children linked to that lesson will appear down here in a neat table. We've just got one here. This is just a demo child. That's the link to the child's profile. You can then click on the, the child's work by clicking the view icon. 
it'll load that child's work that, that he's completed. Um, when the parent um, uses the toggle and says the work's complete, you'll see a tick over here. That's the date it was completed. You've then got the ability to write a comment back to that student or to that parent. You can say, great job. You can give them an 8 out of 10 or an A+, plus, for example. You can give them a little emoji and click send reply. That will then be emailed through to the parent. You've also got the option to just leave a quick audio note. So you could record a, a quick audio note, click send, and that would also be emailed through to the parent or to the student. And the parent gets notified of the mark as well. Okay, so that's it. If you've got any questions, please email support at childcloud.co.za.